Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Rack's destination four bike carrier on our 2021 Toyota RAV4. Now this is gonna be a great way of getting a multitude of bikes on the road with us in a nice, efficient way to boot. Now keep in mind though, if you are looking for a way of transporting your carbon frames, unfortunately, this won't be a great option as we do have frame contact to hold our bikes on there. And with 35 pound capacity rating, we are gonna fit most of our standard and mountain bikes up on here, but be sure we are checking that weight capacity. That means no e-bikes, probably none of those really big bikes and we might have a little bit issue with women step through and kiddo bikes however with this being so adjustable I think we are gonna have a lot of room to move with so let's go ahead and take a quick look at this anyways talking about that reasons why this is very versatile as you can see this hinge mount is gonna be doing a really good job of fitting most different frames at varying heights so could be doing a good job of getting a multitude of different frames on here Taking a look at the very end of the rack, you can see we do have some reflectors on there. I love pointing those out as you don't really see them very standard on a lot of the bike racks. So it's nice just to let those other drivers behind us know where we are, especially on the all black rack like we have today. Taking a look at the cradles themselves, gonna get a pretty good spread here. You can see that inner groove, gonna be doing a very nice job for those standard and mountain bike tires. A pretty wide bevel on the inside here, gonna fit all those mountain bikes. As you can see, starting to get a pretty wide basis for the, some of those wider tires. The only thing, hiccup we're gonna have here, I think with those wide tires, is our strap amount. As you can see, nothing crazy big here, and especially with that wind set not being too crazy for those big, thick tires. However, gonna be fitting most of them. And taking a look at the strap themselves, you can see that they do have a nice little padding on there. It's just a simple ratchet system to actually secure us down. And the one thing I do like about them, they actually have these little eye holes in there. You can get a finger in, really make sure that's tight, especially if your hands are cold after a long ride, it's easy just to throw it in there. I'm not having to pinch those straps, making my fingers hurt, and also it just being hard. Well, let's go ahead and take this off and see how hard it is to do. Again, very, very simple. Oh, and another great thing about these guys as well, you can see on the inside here, they actually have a torque knob. And what's great about that, I think the versatility of the rack is really where it shines through. As you can see, I can go ahead and tighten this off all the way. And you see, I can actually move their positions on this wheel holder. I really like that already getting a different versatility of it. So you're gonna get different subsets of lengths of bikes on here with no trouble at all. So I'll go ahead and spin that down before it pops off on us. And let's go ahead and see how hard it is to take the bike off. In the back here, we just have that little lever system. We're gonna pop that and start working that strap out and go ahead and set that underneath into the side and repeating the process for the other side of the wheel. Very simple, very quick detachments. And then that brings us to our middle post here. Again, we've already kind of broken down how that cam system works for us, but all we have to do is get a good handle on here and just kind of slide that strap through. I just like making sure that my bike's not gonna go anywhere as I do it. And once we get that released, go ahead and get that out of the way. Make sure we have a good handle on it and simply walk it straight off. Very easy, oh, very easy to do. Make sure we're watching that back in as we take them off. And again, with only 35 pounds, I don't think we're gonna have too many issues with it being heavy, being overextended in front of us, as we're not gonna be having any of those really heavy bikes. Now, a great thing with this too, is we can actually collapse this mass down. We still wanna be able to access our cargo carry, maybe when we're on the trail, and once we get the bikes off. And to do so, we're just gonna come into the middle here. As you can see, we have another little torque knob here. Seems to be a pretty common element on this guy, but they definitely work. They can just be just a little tedious, but definitely gonna be nice to give us a lot of versatility. All this does, simply allowing us to pull this lever straight up like so. And this is actually what's gonna take a lot of play out of this mass. So once we've got this set to the side, we're gonna go ahead and bring this guy down like so. Go ahead and give that a quick knob turn so it doesn't fly off as we get down the road. And we can go ahead, a great thing I like to do is just to take this extra strappage here and actually get these guys down and in place like so. Because they're actually gonna get in the way just a little bit if we wanted to have it for our mass. So you can see, making sure that that's actually gonna be nicely out of the way. I definitely position these a little bit better if I was going for a long ride, but for today's purposes, it's gonna work for us. What's gonna be great with that, as you can see, come in right here and our hatch is gonna beautifully swing out of the way, no trouble at all. This will be great. Now I can get in here and get those coolers. I can get those helmets, whatever I need to in the back of the spacious RAV4 is gonna be very nice. I can even load some groceries if I really had to. Maybe we're running late, but it's very nice that I can actually access the hatch with no trouble at all. 
So very easy to do to put that away. Now with any hitch mounted accessory, we are gonna add some length to our vehicle and that's important to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and get a quick look at that. So from the rear of our bumper to the end of our reflector, be about 38 inches. So definitely adding a little bit of length, already almost 40 inches there. However, we are getting four bikes on a nice stable platform. So we are paying for what we get. However, we do have a way of condensing that down. Maybe we want to go ahead, pull this into the garage. We don't want to have to have the hassle of taking it off. We can actually go ahead and put this away in its put away function, which is going to be great. All we have to do is come down here to the bottom here and see we have this little clip. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And again, just another little torque knob here. A lot more points of contact on here though. It's not going to be that wing nut style. It's actually going to be a full knob. I'll give you guys a quick little look. As you can see, Gonna be doing a good job of getting us a lot of points of contact, making that real easy for us to take on and off. And of course, that safety strap, doing a good job letting it hang there. I can go ahead, I can walk up this mast into its position, just like so. And like here, we're gonna head and fix this real quick, guys. Just getting a little bit of contact on our mast. We'll go ahead and just throw this to the side here. You can see, just playing with that cradle a little bit is gonna save us a lot of space to actually condense this down, like so. And now when I get this in its put away function, we are gonna be nice and secure. Go ahead and run this bolt right back through, like so. And you might have to finagle with it just a little bit to find its positioning. And go ahead and torque that back down, making this nice and secure. You can see little to no play at all in here. That's why those straps are gonna be so nice, holding that upper mast in, so we're not gonna have any issues with our vehicle. You can go ahead and see, we are a little bit close here with those arms, but, at about three inches from the rear of our vehicle, we we'll definitely have plenty of room. I don't think we're having any issue with that rubbing up against it. So let's go ahead and see how much space we've actually shaved down here. And from the rear of our bumper to the very end of our post, looks to be about exactly 11 inches. So already shaving down about 20 inches, you know, putting that away, it's gonna be very nice. Hopefully now, we can pull this into the garage, we can get in those tight parking places at the trailhead, gonna give us a lot more maneuverability, which is gonna be great. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this pin back in, and as I do, we can go ahead and move our way down. Another important dimension to keep in mind is our clearance to the bottom of the ground. Now in the RAV4 here, you can see we are getting a little bit of a rise in our shank. RAV4 sits a little bit lower with our hitch, so it's definitely gonna be something we wanna keep in the back of our mind. And to the very bottom of that mass, looks to be about 11 and 5 8 to the very end here. So. As those front wheels go up, the back will go down. So anything on the back of our hitch is also gonna have that. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. If you have any very steep driveways or maybe some real rough terrain, I definitely keep it as a conscious thought in our mind going forward. Now moving our way down the shank here, we can see that we do have a two inch shank to our two inch hitch. And the back end, we do have an included anti-rattle threaded hitch bolt. What that's gonna do, as we tighten it down, it's gonna bring this in line with our frame, as you can see, gonna give it a nice shake. It's shaking the whole vehicle. That's gonna take a lot of the play out of while we drive, so we're gonna feel it less. Our bikes are gonna feel it less, and of course our bike rack's gonna feel it less, making for a nice, smooth ride overall. And the back end here too, you can see that we do have an included locking core. That's gonna be a great way of actually making sure our rack, our rack stays where we have it, and we have a little peace of mind, leave it on the back end here. Well, if you're looking for a way of actually starting to get a multitude of bikes to the trailhead with you, this is a great option. Looking at it, it can be a bit cumbersome to look at. However, I really do like the straps. You're getting a lot of contact, three points of contact on all bikes. It's gonna make for a nice smooth ride. Hopefully no damage to those bikes as they are shuttling around. I like the reflectors, you don't see it a lot, and I think it makes for a nice smooth ride. Easy to go ahead and just throw those guys on there. Well, I think that about does it for our look at the Hollywood Rack's destination for bike rack on our 2021 Toyota RAV4. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side-to-side -side action. It's kind of gonna mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on and see how it holds up. 